Hi guys, hopefully all of you are doing fantastic today. This video is going to kick off the holiday series for 2015. What I'm going to do is a little bit different this year. I'm going to throw up the videos earlier so you're getting them earlier in November and I'm also going to give you more videos in December. Usually I just throw them all up together and you guys can have at it. But I'm going to stretch them out a little bit more and I'm going to try to incorporate some of your requests. So I'm still working on some of those. So from here on to the end of the year, we're going to be working it on out. And it's very dessert heavy so I'm going to be baking quite a bit. Alright, so hopefully you guys will be happy with that and what I come up with. This sweet potato pound cake with this rum glaze I think is one of the best pound cakes I've done to date. And it's fairly easy to make. We're going to take the same steps that we do with the potatoes like we do when we're making a sweet potato pie. So it's fairly easy and I think you guys will love it. Check it out. Alright, so for this recipe I already roasted my yams or sweet potatoes, whichever you choose, at 350 degrees for about one and a half to two hours, depending on how big they are. Once they're roasted, you want to take a spoon and scoop out all of the flesh from the potatoes and put them into a large bowl. For the cake, we only need two cups of sweet potato, but I was baking other cakes this day. That's why you see such large potatoes in the shot. What I'm going to do is take all of the sweet potatoes and whip them with my hand mixer, allowing the strings, if there's any, to wrap themselves around the beaters. And that way you can get rid of some of those strings. You may have to repeat this process a couple of times. Now let's move on to our pecans. Now I'm just going to take some pecans and put them in a pan, a dry pan, over medium high heat. And I'm just gonna roast them to let the natural oils come to the surface. This only takes about three or four minutes. You don't get to walk away. So make sure you watch them really closely. So our sweet potatoes are cooling and so are our pecans. Now we can move on to the dry ingredients. I'm just gonna sift some cake flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking powder, baking soda, and salt together in a large bowl and have that already ready to go into the wet mixture when it's already mixed. So the recipe starts off with a stick of butter and an eight ounce block of cream cheese. Both are at room temperature and I'm just gonna whip those until they're really nice and smooth. Next, we're gonna move on to our sugars. We're gonna blend in a combination of granulated white sugar and some light brown sugar. And we're gonna blend that until it's nice and fluffy. Don't worry, for the exact measurements, be sure and go to gdseasoning.com. The link will be in the description. Now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. We need four whole eggs. Man, you'll see at the end of the video how it was really going down in this kitchen, but we're gonna go ahead and move on. After we add all of our eggs, go ahead and add our vanilla extract. Just blend that right in. And then we're gonna follow up with our two cups of sweet potato. There really is a huge benefit to whipping your potatoes first. You make them really smooth and you get all the strings out. So you're adding a very smooth potato to the wet mixture. And that means your batter is gonna be that much more smooth. All right, moving on to the dry ingredients. We actually are going to go ahead and add half of the dry ingredients at this point and blend that in. The only liquid we're adding to this recipe is two tablespoons of buttermilk or you can use whole milk. Trust me, that is going, just that little touch just really makes a difference to me. And then we're going to finish off with the rest of our dry ingredients. Oh yeah, and I know I didn't say it earlier, but make sure you stop and scrape down your bowl once in a while to make sure all of your ingredients are incorporated really well. I'm just folding the batter to make sure I didn't miss any spots and make sure I have all of my batter well incorporated. And now I'm just gonna pour it into my prepared pan that has been buttered and floured. By the way, this is a 12 cup capacity bun pan. We're gonna bake the cake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour and five to an hour and 10 minutes or until a skewer is inserted and comes out clean. After I took my union break, I decided to go ahead and make my icing, which is some confectioner's sugar, some heavy cream, and some real deal rum. I am not using rum extract. I am using three to four teaspoons of rum. So if you guys don't cook with alcohol, we can go ahead. I will make allowances on the recipe for you to use an extract. And I'm also going to go ahead and chop my pecans. When the cake comes out of the oven, it smells divine. Actually, your house is gonna waft of cinnamon and nutmeg and sweet potatoes anyway. But definitely, I'm telling you, this cake is just gorgeous and it tastes even better. What you wanna do now is invert it 
and allow it to cool for a minimum of one hour. You want to make sure it's completely cool before you put that icing on. I love this part of the video because I don't have to say much. I can just let you guys watch and enjoy. Y'all know I've been waiting to use some pecans in another recipe because I just like pecans and recipes anyway, but this just gave me a little bit of excitement. I hope you guys decide to give this recipe a try. My family and friends enjoy this cake a lot and they have here recently. This cake is delicious, it's moist, and it includes one of the favorite root vegetables that we all love during the fall and winter, and that's sweet potatoes. Thank you guys for joining me. You know I appreciate it when you come hang out. Don't forget this recipe and others can be found at gdseasoning.com. See you next time, everybody. Oh, y'all thought I was playing when I said it was really going down in the kitchen that day, huh? <laughs>